Okay, as I was saying, we uh, get the, the cover close to where we think it, we, we're going to want it based on the pre-cut for the cylinder openings and all that. And then I took, and I always like to mark the edge of where this skin, the tank cover stops, so I know where it's at. And it's an inch and a half edge distance, if you can see that or not, off of this screw line. So I go out one inch so that I know I'm, I know I'm where I want to be. I go out one inch, and that's where I measure from those screw holes. And I just like to keep them lined up with the screws. Um, I went two inches off the center line, three inches actually, to that screw. Then I'm going to do a four inch pattern because there's 20 fasteners that go in this cover. So there's 10 on a side. That makes one, two, three down the side, two in this longer piece here behind the intake, then one underneath where this tab will wind up being. Uh, so that's six and then seven, eight, nine, ten coming up the front side. So um, another little trick I'll show you. Without anything fastened, this bulkhead wants to kind of move around behind there. So I just took a little piece of safety wire and wired it with my edge distance that I want around the spinner to the spinner. So I, so I went through those little holes that, that are created by the flutes, the tabs, and wired it to the spinner. So it's not moving now. I got it pulled forward a little bit. Then my gap isn't correct now, but I don't worry about that. I'm going to go back and then trim this, trim this edge so I get my, my quarter inch gap, you know, nice and straight all the way around there again. So, uh, and of course you can see where I put my mark, I measured up, use this, this system, put the ruler on here, measure up, put a mark where the center of the exhaust or the intake pipe is going to be. And I'm going to make a two inch hole knowing that I'm going to open it up to like two and a quarter or whatever for clearance when I get that all done. But, but that'll be the, that'll be the rough fit. And then I put, I went ahead and drilled two Clicos. We always like to keep them off the center line just because when you're looking down in flight, you don't want to, I don't know, some people that bugs to have this in their line of sight. So we go off the center line. Um, so I've got, I got two in here, two up front, so now it's locked in. And of course, like all sheep, whenever you're doing these type of sheets, you always want to start in the middle and work out to the edge so you get a nice, smooth, tight finish on this edge. Same thing on the front. And don't, don't do all this all the way down, then go to the front, because it won't work. So put one in here, stagger it, go up, put one here, put one, come back, put another one. Work your, work your way down, and you'll get a nice, tight as you can see, we got a nice tight finish so far. So hopefully we can maintain that. Um, little trick for when you're trying to find the edge of your skins underneath. Um, you can see I drew the line on here. That's the edge of this skin below. I just want to make sure that when you're putting these fasteners in, you're not close to the edge or whatever. So I take an edge finder, oh, I'm sorry, hole finder they call it, right? got a little little button there that you'd slide up under the skin to find a find a hole then put your drill through to mark it well you can use the same way by running it up hook it on the top of your skin and you can see you can write along there I just took a sharpie next to it put a line on there so I know where that I know where that is pretty good way of uh, locating stuff so I'm gonna get this Clico down and uh, then we'll, we'll go start putting the fasteners in.